It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Packers and the Bears next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to one of the legendary venues in the sport. Historic Soldier Field in Chicago. So good to have you with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson up here in the booth. And Greg, this is one of those games that we're old school. Maybe if it was in black and white, it would be fitting, right? We got a couple of teams who have to hand it off and see their running backs do it on the ground. And it's just so cool, and you mentioned it, Mike. Maybe 10, 15 years ago, this would have been the norm on any given weekend, but we're seeing the game trend to more of a passing style offense. If you want to score points, it mostly comes through the air. So for these two kind of throwback offense, that rely so heavily on their running backs. For anybody that loves old school power football, I think we're in for a treat. Here's Cairo Santos ready to get this one started. Off we go from Soldier Field. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28 yard line. Here comes the pack, and here comes Jordan Love. Fifth season quarterback, but Greg just his second as a starter waited his turn and had a really good first year as a starter took a little while for him to get his chance to be a full-time starter but once he got that shot he just never looked back i mean mike think he's always had that power for him he can push the ball up and down the field and make every throw imaginable but that time he spent on the sideline i think it ended up being a massive blessing in disguise he was able to work on his game from a mental and technical standpoint with no pressure to play and now, he's reaping all the benefits. Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll have a first down as he gets this up close to the 40-yard line. Second down at these distances, Mike, you pretty much anticipate a pass. And I think that's what the defense was lined up thinking. In this case, they leave a little too much room on the ground, and the offense is able to pick up a first down. They'll stay on the ground with Jacobs. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. play action love that one broken up it's incomplete all over him down the field it'll set up third down we'll try to run it here with Jacobs a pickup there of 13 First down, Packers. Each week coming into the game, every team in the league, Mike, places a huge emphasis on success on their opening drive. But the key to that is sustaining possession, converting on third down. It's exactly what they were able to do here, keeping the ball on the ground. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Out of the shotgun. It's Love. Uh, first down throw there is incomplete. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? And he'll move this ahead for about four yards. Andrew Billings from the interior, there to bring him down. Play eight of the opening drive coming up, and now they face third down. From the gun, it's Love. He'll take a shot here, back of the end zone. That is incomplete. 
Well read that time defensively, making it difficult downfield. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Well, if you're going to target him in the end zone, you better come correct, man, because this guy, he embraces those moments of one-on-one -on -one coverage when it matters the most. And I think he just saved six by getting his hands on that. Oh, look at this. It's a fake. And this is not going to get it done. Not even close to picking up the first down. And they will turn it over on downs. Let's give this defensive unit a lot of credit. They come out thinking they're going to defend a field goal try. And next thing you know, they're defending the fake. But they were all in the right position. They were all executing their responsibilities. They don't fall for anything. And what was once a good drive has now come to an end. First run of the game here for DeAndre Swift. And that'll go for a gain of about four. The veteran Kenny Clark in on the stop. Here's second and six. From the shotgun, it's Williams. And the tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. And this is something the defense knew they had to contain coming in today, Mike. They worked all week on containing this quarterback. But here we are, early on in the game, a nice scramble there, good yardage, and he's able to pick up the first down. On first down, it's Swift. Trying to find some place to go, but nothing developing. Tackled behind the line, it's a loss of one. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike. I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Another run here, another run by Swift. And he's going to be swallowed up again. Back-to-back -back runs, back-to-back -back losses. Now it is third down. Number one rule of run blocking for the offensive line is you don't want to allow penetration. It just doesn't give your running back any angles to cut and find the hole. It's exactly how it played out here. They've got to do a better job holding the line of scrimmage and not getting pushed back. Third and long. Here's Williams. And they're going to get to him and take him down. Take him back to the other side of midfield. Brings up fourth down. On fourth down, here's the rookie, the Aussie, fourth round pick, Tory Taylor, to punt for Chicago. Out to return this for the Packers, it's Keyshawn Nixon. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. Josh Jacobs and the Packers offense heading back onto the field. He is the NFL leader in rushing to this point in the season. So he's hoping to put together a solid second half to try to take home the title. Here we go. Here we go. It's the tight end Kraft in motion. They'll start on the ground with Jacobs. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. Set up, second down. The Packers go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. They'll work now on second and four. To throw is love. This one complete. Right side, it's Watson. And they will bring him down. Other side of midfield. That's a timeout for Green Bay. It'll be their second. First and ten. On the ground, it's Jacobs. And he'll get nothing there. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. That's going to wind us down to the end of this first quarter of play.
They'll try again here. Second and ten. Come on, set. Cut. Here's Jacobs. And they'll take this down inside the 35. And his great first half on the ground continues. And this is one of those guys that when he gets in the groove, it seems like it's an 8-yard run, a 10-yard run, and all of a sudden a 15-yard chunk play one after another. Here we go. Now, Jacobs. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no gain. Defensive coaches preach every day, Mike, swarm to the ball. Get as many hats to the ball carrier as possible. And this is a great reason why. The ball carrier is able to make the first guy miss, but it was the pursuit from the rest of the defense that's able to get him down and keep him to no gain. He decides to go with the safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. It is third and ten. Now look, that's deep for the back of the end zone. And this is going to be incomplete. That is great work there, making things difficult defensively. It'll set up a fourth down. I can tell you from firsthand experience, Mike, that is a lonely and long jog back to the huddle. I mean, you're an inch away from being the hero with the deep touchdown. Instead, you let it go through your fingertips and you got to come back to the huddle and try again. This one not on target. It is short. It is right. It is no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. And this is the danger of trying these long field goals. Remember, Mike, if you miss, the other team gets the ball at the spot of the kick. So it's going to end up setting them up for great field position as they start this next drive. They'll start on the ground with Swift. Ooh. A gain of 14. Good for a quick first down. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. Well, let's give credit here to the coverage unit, Mike. There was nowhere to go with the ball for that quarterback. He had no choice but to just tuck it down himself, and he's able only to pick up a short game. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Third and a yard. On third down, it's Williams from the gun. And he's not going to get there. Maybe he's looking for a cutback lane, but that certainly didn't develop. And now, it's fourth down. Anytime it's third and short, you better account for the running back out of the backfield. And that's exactly what they do here. Great job by the defense taking him down for a loss. Brings up fourth down. Here's Tory Taylor now, as they'll say no to the long field goal and hope to pin them deep. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Packers offense running back Josh Jacobs heading back on the field. And as we move into the second half of the season, you can see he's the NFL leader in rushing touchdowns. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive. And he'll be brought down after a short pickup to the 24. T.J. Edwards there on the stop. Here's a second and six. Back to throw is Love. 
Downfield, he's got his receiver, Wicks. First time these two have connected this afternoon, and it'll wind up being a first down. To throw is love. Looking downfield, that's Musgrave, the tight end. A big gainer for Green Bay. And even 30 yards. And finally, we see this offense find a little bit of life here early in this first half. They've struggled to get anything going early on, but at least this play has them on the move. Now, can they finish this drive? and finally put some points on the scoreboard here in the first half. Let's go! They'll come up here first and ten. Love. That is caught at the three. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. Man, they're just running this two-minute drill to complete perfection. It is such a point of emphasis of every offense, Mike. These end-of-half scenarios to come away stealing points make a big impact on the outcome of the game. And they're knocking on the door here first and goal. And at the very least, got to come away with some points. A couple of big plays, one after the other. And now it's first and goal. Here's Jacobs. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. Ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. One more time, it's Jacobs. And this time he will work his way into the end zone. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Green Bay. That his 16th touchdown of the year. Taking care of business on the ground to get the score. And Greg, the big guys up front, they deserve some praise on that one. Absolutely, Mike. And it really only takes one guy to distort the defense and win his block. But in this case, give credit to the entire unit. They did their job, and they reward their offense with a touchdown. The is good. Makes the score. Packers 7. Bears nothing. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. Valus Jones now on the return. And he is stopped at 25. The drive will begin then. LeBear's offense going to take over here in the final minute of this first half. They'll be hoping to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 our score. The pressure gets there, and down he goes back inside the 20-yard line. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Working out of the gun, here's... Oh, this pass rush dialed in right now. They get him again. brings up third down. So, backed up after the sack, and now it's third and long. Not wanting to risk another sack, they're going to play it safe with a run. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. All right, Michael, we'll get back to you and Greg in just a little bit. For now, plenty of early action in the 1 o'clock Eastern window to get you caught up on. So let's get to it. We'll get things started up at Ford Field in Detroit. And it's the Lions who hold on to the lead in that one. Jamison Williams, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. 
From there, we head down to Tennessee to check on the Titans at home in Nashville. And you can see, currently, they trail in that ball game. The rookie first-round pick, J.J. McCarthy, with two touchdown passes. Finally, let's get down to Miami to see what's going on with the Dolphins. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Raiders. Tua Tungavailoa with a touchdown throw. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. This has been a hard-fought battle thus far. Just the one touchdown to this point is still anybody's game at 7 to nothing, as both of these defenses have been out there trying to one-up one another. Coach, thanks. This one's still anyone's game. We'll see who can come out with a hot hand in this second half. About... Just that one touchdown on the board. 7-0 the score as the third quarter begins. Jones now on the return. And he'll be taken down right at the 29-yard line. The Bears offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. This drive will begin with a run by Swift. And the woes in the running game continue. They're going to subtract yards there. A loss on the play. Now, following the run, one of the offensive linemen leading the way is a bit shaken up. The training staff going to look, and will step out for a moment. Second and 11. Operating from the shotgun, it's Williams. Pass is caught. That's DJ Moore. And will mark him down just shy of the 40. Not a whole lot complicated about this play, Mike. That was understanding where the holes in the defense were. Remember, in this zone coverage, you got to find green grass, get past the first down marker. Be Under pressure, and he'll go down. They got him. Now, following that sack, we have a player who was injured. As the athletic training staff looks at him, we'll step away for a moment. second down it's a run with swift and he'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage no gain on the play what makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision in this case the linebacker has his keys brings him right where the ball is going and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and he's going to go down yet again he has been under fire all game long an eight yard loss brings up fourth down The Bears send out their punch team. To return, it's Nixon. And it's a decent return. Gets some of that yardage back before he's forced out of bounds. The Packers offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And as we move into the second half of the schedule, we start thinking about who might be in line to take home one of those big awards at NFL honors come Super Bowl week. We talk about Offensive Player of the Year. He's going to be right up there in the conversation. And he'll plow forward for a gain of four yards. Off the play fake. Here's Love. That one on target to Watson. And they're going to be set up in the red zone. They've got it inside the 15. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone. And this is where you have to finish drives. They can still get a first down at the one. First and ten, they go from the 11. They'll run the toss to Jacobs. Mm. 
and he maneuvers his way forward, a gain of six. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You gotta have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Here we go. A run up the middle with Jacobs. And he'll be near the first down marker. Let's call it a gain of three, but a short yardage situation coming up on third down. Here we go, set, cut. They'll run with Jacobs. And that big offensive line, clearing space. He's in. Josh Jacobs, touchdown Packers. That his second touchdown of the game, and 17 for the season. Carlson now for the extra point. It's up and through. And the Packers move out on top, 14 to nothing. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he decides not to bring it out. So they'll take over at the 30-yard line. The Bears offense getting their final instructions before heading back onto the field. And, look, they've been out of sorts throughout, Greg. They haven't had any answer for this pass rush all game. Yeah, and it's really showing up in the sacks and also just in their ability to prevent any yards, any completions. This has just been a dominant pass defense performance here, and everything starts with the rush. The quarterback's uncomfortable. The clock gets sped up. He's got guys in his face. It's a lot easier to play defensive back and in some of these coverage units when you know that ball's got to come out fast. And right now, they're teeing off and taking advantage of it. On the bootleg, it's Williams. He'll get this underneath to Swift. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. One of the easiest ways to negate these really good pass rushes in the NFL, Mike, is just to simply get the ball out of the quarterback's hand as fast as possible. And sometimes it's by design, sometimes it's based on need. But really nice job there by the quarterback, getting into the hands of his receiver and then see what he can do after the catch. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on him early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. Can he get away? No, he's taken down behind the line. Good job by the defense with a negative play. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming, and he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. And that is incomplete. The big tight end, Cole Komet, the intended receiver. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Missed opportunities like these are a big reason why they find themselves down double digits here in the third quarter, Mike. Points on this possession could have gone a long way towards making this game competitive, but instead, poor execution, especially in the passing game, and it's another wasted drive. And a nice return there. The offense not going to be backed up as much as they could have. Drive's going to start from beyond the 20. So here's a first and 10 now. They'll start from the 24. Set, ready. They'll run it straight ahead with Jacobs. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. And what's that one thing you hear from coaches all the time, Mike, right? Finish strong. And he's doing just that. His numbers here in this one, they have been terrific. But he's going to give you a full four quarters. And I think at this point in the game, he knows there's even more yards to be had. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. He's going to lose a yard. Here comes third and six. 
Here's Love. And that is incomplete. When you get the ball in this situation, what you're looking to do is not only end the drive with a touchdown to put the game away, but you'd love to chew up some clock. So with that incomplete pass now likely putting an end to this series, that's a big opportunity for them to try to close this game out. And we will not see a return on this one, as it will be marked down. The Bears offense getting those helmets back on, ready to head out for their next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. He'll swing this out to Swift. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle gets him down behind the line. I think this play is a direct result of his film study. He knew exactly where that ball was going before the play was snapped. And that play recognition, man, it separates a lot of guys in this league and results in a negative play. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. Third and long. Here's Williams now to throw. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. Trailing late. They've got to go here. It's fourth down. And that's going to be incomplete. They had to take that chance, trailing here in the fourth, but they will turn it over on downs. The Packers' offense back onto the field for their next possession, and it's looking like the win streak to start the year is going to continue for another week. What a tremendous performance here as they are out to finish this one off. Running is Jacobs. And the Packers are going to have a first and goal. Some good running there. Gets them down to about the two-yard line. A huge advantage to red zone offense is the ability to run the ball. In this case, I thought he was going to score. He takes it all the way down inside the two. Sets up first and goal. He'll try to run this one in. And he's got another one. Josh Jacobs. Touchdown, Green Bay. It is his third touchdown of the game, and 18 now on the season. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. And he misses the extra point. It's no good. That is his second miss of the year. And the score stays right where it is. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This is fielded inside the five. We'll get across the 20, mark them at the 22-yard line. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. Things not looking good. But... See if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. A play fake, and they'll throw with Williams. He's got it! Oh, yeah. That'll change things out of bounds inside the 35. A big-time play for the Bears. Pick up of 46 yards. Here's first and ten. First and ten at the 32 yard line. Williams. That complete to Swift. And he's not going to be able to get away. Very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. And this offensive line just has no answers right now. It's another sack. A loss of four. It's now third and 18. 
two minutes remain in the fourth quarter. Greg and I back on EA Sports after this. Work to do following the sack. It is third and long. Here's Williams. And that one is intercepted. Jair Alexander picks it off. And the Packers are going to take over just shy of midfield. It's not often, Mike, that everything breaks right for this type of return off of an interception. But, boy, is it beautiful when it does. I mean, look at the defenders just flip around and become blockers, trying to spring their guy to the house. Great athleticism, some great moves on his part. I mean, he's going to have some of his offensive teammates looking over their shoulder for their position. The Packers offense about ready to take over once more. And it would appear that the open week a week ago came just at the right time. They've dominated the proceedings here in the fourth quarter. They'll run with Jacobs. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. They face second down and seven. Here we go. Here we go. Ready? Once again, it's Jacobs. And he'll get this close to a first down. Gets about seven, maybe a yard short of the first down. Now after the run, we get a stoppage for an injured player. That not a welcome development here late in a one-sided game. Here's third down and a few inches. Let's go now. Ready? Now Love. This one. Up top for Dobbs. And he'll take it on in. Romeo Dobbs. Touchdown, Packers. They continue to add points, Greg. Very interesting here. They are just rolling up the score, even though we're in the fourth. No doubt, Mike. I mean, this offensive play caller has no let up. I mean, he's going to see how many points can I put on this scoreboard before that clock runs out. Now, Carlson to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Packers able to add on. It is now 27 to nothing. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. The return starts from the five. Across the 20, they'll mark him down before the 25-yard line. And that's where the offense will take over. The home team's offense ready to take over once more. They'll start it here with a first and 10. Let's go now. Now Williams. He'll check this down to Swift. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. We call them safeties because they're usually the last line of defense, but not here. On this play, he's up there at the line of scrimmage attacking the offense, and he takes him down for a negative play. And he's going to go down yet again. He has been under fire all game long. Sometimes, Mike, your greatest strength can also be a little bit of your weakness. In this case, he is so used to being able to buy more time with his feet, extend the play, give his targets more time downfield to uncover. In this case, nothing materializes, tried to do too much, and as a result, takes a big loss. What can they do here? This is third and forever. Throwing is Williams. That is the veteran Preston Smith works his way in there for the sack. Tory Taylor in one point. So it's a win here for the visiting Packers. Their winning ways continue. They've yet to be stopped. 
as they remain unbeaten in the month of November. Hey, pink sticks, pink sticks. So that'll do it for us. For Greg Olson and our terrific team behind the scenes, I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. Follow us on X at EA Madden NFL. With that, we say so long, everyone.